welcome to Quiltology, brought to you by Fabric Editions. My name is Kristen, and along with Fabric Editions, we have put together a video to jumpstart your sewing and quilting. Today's lesson will show you how to make a piece braid that can be used to make a tote. What makes the Emma tote a quick and easy project is that you make four identical braid units. Follow me as I demonstrate how to make one. If you've ever made a log cabin block, you will see this method is very similar. Our completed braid units are approximately 9 by 13. Using 2 and a quarter by 10 inch strips, you can make them whatever size you want by using different size strips. We also use 6 inch squares cut in half for our beginning and ending triangles. First, lay out your pieces for the first braid. There's 8 strips and 3 triangles. Begin with the single triangle and place the square end together like this. Sew a quarter of an inch seam, then finger press the seam towards the strip. Always start the sewing at the square end. Braids are made by alternating the strips to the right and to the left. Next, add the next strip to the opposite side of the triangle. Sew and finger press the seam towards the strip you just added. Continue adding the remaining strips from the layout, alternating the left and the right, and pressing towards the strip that you've just added. Once all the strips are sewn, add the last two triangles at the end. For the Emma bag, you need to make three identical units. You will cut four pieces of fusible batting, and you will center it on your unit. You start with a piece of 9 by 13 fusible web. The fusible side is bumpy because it has the glue on it. I like to fold it in half to find the center. Line it up with the center of your braid. And on this piece, you just look for the points. Open it up. And press according to the manufacturer's directions. Once you have it fused down, you will use the fusible as your guide to cut. So I'll line up my ruler on the edge of the fusible, and I'll go ahead and trim it to create the section that I need for my Emma bag. Now your section is complete, ready to insert into your purse. The braid technique is a great way to use up your scraps of fabric. Scraps can be cut into strips of uniform width and sewn together randomly or by design. Make sure the length of the strip covers the width of the braid when trimmed. This method has lots of possibilities to make other quilting and sewing projects. We hope you enjoy being creative and trying something new. 